Today on Nathan and Landon Do Business, we do some deep research on business Jesus, a.k.a. Billy Mitchell. Also, I'm wearing a hat. figured I'd call attention to it up front. That way it's not weird or weirder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people can't uh, figure out the hat thing on their own. So, <laughs> yeah, no. Well, there's a certain segment of the population that suffers from what I call hat blindness, where if I'm wearing a hat, they're unable to see me. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, his head seems extra blue today. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Ah, where's his head? No, it's just a hat. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't panic. I'm just wearing a hat. <laughs> it's okay, kids. Object permanence is a thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You'll see my balding scalp again next week. Yeah. That's Nathan. the Nathan Lane guarantee. <laughs> exactly. You will see my balding scalp. Um, so viewers, <clears throat> all, all 20 of you, or 15 or whatever the heck, we're recording at a different time today. This is usually it's an afternoon record. Today it's a morning record. So you get hat wearing, groggy somewhat hung over Landon today because uh we purchased a vehicle yesterday and we celebrated and that's what grown-ups do sometimes we make mistakes like that <laughs> you purchase a vehicle and you celebrate yeah. but uh here we are so Nathan I apologize for my glummer than usual energy today I promise to make it up to you at some point it's okay I could stand a, a week of glum chum <laughs> glum chum tm 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 yeah rc <laughs> <laughs> yes. um what was i gonna say yeah that would be uh glum chum that could be a name for like our uh, hip cool animated series we pitched a cartoon network it seems like <laughs> kind of hipstery it's like a sad friend glum chum that was the original name for charlie brown it was glum chum <laughs> <laughs> at least that's what i'm choosing to believe anyways <laughs> speaking um, of charlie brown do you ever notice so we're in the halloween season here yeah. And uh, my kids always like to watch the the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, mm -hmm. and the neighbors on like whatever street Charlie Brown lives on apparently got together and decided they all hate Charlie Brown so much they're all giving him a rock. I know. Like it can't be coincidental that they all just give him a rock. <laughs> they planned that. Like you know that little Charlie Brown, that bald kid. I hate that kid so much. We're all going to give him rocks this year. Yeah. Well. What what we didn't see, Nathan, what happened off screen was Charlie Brown was posting some really horrific anti-Semitic things on incel forums. Well, that's fair. <laughs> and that came to light. And that's what led to the it's actually the, the reaction was pretty tame in comparison to his atrocious things that he did and said. <laughs> it was it was more of a protest like Charlie Brown. You get your hate speech out of here. Rock in the candy bag. <laughs> I don't know if you want to give a person like that, like a weapon to to wield those. So. <laughs> It's Those true. rocks are coming back through their window. <laughs> That's what happened at the 31 minute mark of that special. <laughs> yeah. Charlie Brown went back and went to... <laughs> the nice guy act was done. Yeah. yeah. That's when the real Charlie Brown comes out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That'd be a great expose of the real Charlie Brown, like finding out why people really hate him so much. Yeah. Turns out Charlie Brown's a dirtbag. So that's our next pitch. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> it's the truth behind Charlie Brown. <laughs> that's revenge porn, Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nathan, guess what? What's that? <laughs> Amazon wrote us back. I love that so much. <laughs> I know. I forwarded it to you, but I think uh, we owe it to our seven viewers for us to read it aloud to them didn't just put ourselves in the shoes of the person at Amazon monitoring this executive email address and the, and the reaction they might've had to receiving our unhinged email, which I read again. Yeah. It's a thing of beauty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the subject line here is a message from Aaliyah with amazon.com executive relations. As we mentioned last week, Jeff Bezos puts this email out there and has staff actively monitoring it. Every single email is read. 
um, and ours was responded to. So I feel like Charlie and the Golden Ticket. <laughs> as soon as I received this email, I printed it out and ran all the way to you. <laughs> I'm going to get my grandparents out of their shared bed. <laughs> Take them on a little trip. <laughs> we used, that was our uh i don't know who we were impersonating i think this was you and i with this joke it was charlie bucket your yeah. grandparents sleep in the same bed yeah that's right <laughs> the most specific of insults i'm not even sure who's saying that to him at the time it's probably his teacher or some kind of bully yeah charlie bucket <laughs> I assume just randos on the street like <laughs> shout that at him. <laughs> All your grandparents share a bed. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 if, if I had to think of a shameful secret, that'd be pretty close to the top as far as shame. <laughs> All of my grandparents live in my house in the same bed that they never leave. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, anyways, back to Aaliyah. <laughs> I don't know how we... <laughs> Hello, Nathan and Landon. They, she referred to both of us. She didn't say we are a team. But... <laughs> Which leads me to believe this is like a hands-on keyboard template type situation. Yeah. Um, so she actually had to enter this into the field, um, which just warms my heart. Yeah. My name is Aaliyah with Amazon.com's executive customer relations team. We received the email and your concern was brought to my attention and I'm responding on behalf of the corporate office. Serious business. Thank you for your interest in Amazon. For consideration, please visit the link below to read our statement on co company procedures and submit your idea for, quote, Amazon pet subscription service. <laughs> yeah, she had to <laughs> read through and summarize what she read. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll contact so there's a link here and we actually could submit this and i'm actually kind of tempted to do so for the next few days just going to copy and paste more various proposals and drop it in there yeah. just to see what happens next um because what it says here is we'll contact you if you'd like further information as you can appreciate we don't offer compensation for unsolicited business ideas which is addressing our demand for money yeah. in the body of the pitch uh thanks again for your interest in amazon have a wonderful day and then at the end it says thank you for your inquiry did i solve your problem with two links i think that's automatically populated at the bottom of all the emails she sends yeah. um i didn't click either because uh you know she really didn't it's kind of lukewarm the response yeah. but i'm still pleased that it looks like someone read it and had to understand it to a level where they were dropping certain pieces of information into form fields which is terrific yeah that makes me very happy and I hope it makes Aaliyah very happy too. Yeah. Aaliyah, if you're watching, you made Nathan and I's day. I may be exceptionally hungover today, but like the Grinch, my heart just grew three sizes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. <laughs> and in, in the in the in the waning moments of our last record, Nathan, you had the brilliant idea because the topic came up of business Jesus, you know, that that we were going to take this idea straight to business Jesus. We realized that uh, we'd never seen business Jesus and Billy Mitchell in the same room at the same time. That's true. So uh, it's entirely possible he is business Jesus. Um, Only one way to find out. <laughs> write him an email. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I, I was doing some light research on Billy Mitchell. And uh, you want to watch a video with me? <laughs> Absolutely, I do. So he has a YouTube channel. Um, not to skip too far ahead. Are you familiar? Wait, well, are you familiar with King of Kong, Nathan? Have you seen the I movie? Am. Yes, I have. Okay. So uh, viewers at home, if you're not familiar with Billy Mitchell, you know, you're going to want to fall down this rabbit hole too, because he's truly fascinating. He looks like a, like an evil, he looks like a video game Darth Vader, like with his like long cowl like hair. He held several video game records in the 1980s. And he is known for doing whatever it takes in both business and video gaming to stay at the top so uh here's an example of uh and also he's a uh, he's been in, involved in a round of lawsuits recently let me pull this up really quickly so you can i can read it to you yeah so apparently he there was an investigation in i think 2018 that uh said that the scores he was submitting were completed on machines that were modified either with like a an emulator or with joysticks that moved in several additional directions. Um, and so he started suing like his friends, like at Twin Galaxies, Guinness Book of World Records, a bunch of YouTubers. He sued a bunch of YouTubers for 
um, um, them like going into his, his the, the videos of his records and picking them apart. So it's it's highly possible, Nathan. You and I will be sued by Billy Mitchell. <laughs> Can't wait. I know. I think it'll up our cloud a little bit if we're sued by Billy Mitchell. Um, but in any case, this is context where you're about to see right here. I'm, I don't know the full details of this, but I'm guessing he. Well, I'll, we'll see. I'll I'll show you. He's a really interesting man. So the title of this video is Billy Mitchell Shocks Walter Day. I have no idea who that is. With surprising appearance at gaming convention. I'm not going to set it up anymore. Just watch. All right, it's showtime. We're off and running. Okay, we're here in Bloomington Normal. We managed to get in last night, get in a little late. He infiltrated this hotel. Unseen, it's holiday in. room. <laughs> yeah. I never left the room. Fortunately, the room was in a convenient spot to cloak and dagger in. Real late when almost nobody was there, we went over to the venue and we found the entrance that I'm gonna execute this through. The last obstacle is for me to be over there and be back in that secluded area outside not to those be spotted. white pants are a bold choice again this is something it's great to do this is much Ryan, after labor day we yeah. created this show which next year is even bigger it's going to take on a new name and i'm sworn to secrecy <laughs> i'm it's sure you do it to help out walter yeah it's great to do it to help out the various people like the midway people who deserve the award and recognition are getting them. Yeah. But most of all, it's great to do this so for Doc he, Mack. He goes on for a while. It's great to do it because These are people I don't he's earned, know. It. He's earned yeah. it. He does a lot for other people. And plus, I like to let him know I'm always one up on him. So I'm sneaking this in. So the plan is to get there incognito. I don't think it's going to work. Did you put a black that's his thing yeah, but that, that's his disguise. <laughs> Question is, how did I get a key to the maintenance room? I'm obviously known for wearing all white, so <laughs> a black <laughs> jacket will fool them all. Exactly. <laughs> He's invisible. So he was able to procure a key to the maintenance room with in exchange for a bottle of hot sauce, apparently. The target is the stage. Do not make eye contact with anyone. Point A to point B. And he just storms the stage. How did you get in here? You don't have a badge. I'm Billy Mitchell. I don't require a badge. <laughs> Billy Mitchell always has a badge. Welcome to BN Bloomington so Normal really Boom Shakalaka Convention. This is the best part. Look at him in the back. When you're amongst people, <laughs> people that share ghost. Because They're I taking a picture Pete here at the end stage. of the stage. Because crashed. Pete is yeah. Dr. And he right refuses to leave. He's the yeah. unsung hero along with him. Anyways, so yeah, that's Billy Mitchell. This is but the he restaurant. shocked Walter Day with that appearance. <laughs> <laughs> he sure did. This is the restaurant that he owns, Ricky's Restaurant. Um, I think this is how he got the uh, in the hot sauce business was through assuming control of this. I have no idea. Let's look at his Wikipedia page. I did very little research on him. Yeah, he owns Ricky's Restaurants in Hollywood, Florida, and he runs and he sells Ricky's world-famous hot sauce. So he must have acquired the brand somehow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I feel like he wouldn't be able to name a restaurant after somebody else. He would clearly put his own name on it if it was up to him. So Exactly. I gotta show you one more thing. Hang on one second. I'm Billy Mitchell. <laughs> this is his intro to his YouTube channel. I'm Billy Mitchell, video game player of the century, Guinness World Record holder on multiple games, most notably Pac-Man and Donkey Kong. Starred in the movies King of Kong and Chasing Ghosts. I've traveled around the world as an ambassador promoting honoring, advocating on behalf of competitive gamers and their recognition here. I feel like I'm about to get channel, pitched on a fibromyalgia lawsuit. <laughs> slash King of Kong. I'll yeah. be making videos to show you what happens. If you've been stage, affected by Donkey Kong. Appearances, <laughs> and also holding the curtain on what I'm doing behind the Were scenes. Were you assaulted by Donkey Kong? My life takes a lot of planning and traveling, and you'll see how I pull it off. Subscribe now. <laughs> a lot of Keep coats. With the content. A lot of yeah, disguises. Billy Mitchell always has a plan. Yeah, Billy Mitchell always has a plan. That's his catchphrase, apparently. He's always planning things. Um, 
<laughs> he's out there shopping for overcoats. <laughs> yeah. He just never you know, know what he's going to do next. <laughs> <laughs> what jacket will he wear this time? Yeah. <clears throat> so let me see if there's anything else notable to highlight here on his Wikipedia page. Um, now that's pretty much it. Oh, apparently he's been going on Twitch recently. Um, he's been going on Twitch to try and live stream his records. Uh, yeah, a bunch. He's suing a bunch of YouTubers. Um, and it's been said that he's all of his current records are because uh, he modified the hardware. Um, yeah, so that's it. And he has three children, lives with his wife in Weston, Florida. Can you imagine what it'd be like to be have Billy Mitchell as your dad? <laughs> a 58 year old man who's constantly dyeing his hair to try to pretend like he's still young. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to infiltrate my son's room and have the sex talk with him because Billy Mitchell <laughs> always has a plan. <laughs> dad why are you wearing that absurd coat this is phase one of my plan to infiltrate your bedroom and have an awkward conversation with you <laughs> don't worry under this coat all white <laughs> <laughs> the outfit you're not i wonder if he wears that in I bet, I bet he wears it at home i bet it's what he's most comfortable in at this point it's like his second skin yeah that american flag tie seems to be in every picture he's in so yeah I am terrified to even dig a little bit deeper about his politics. <clears throat> yeah, I think we could probably ballpark that. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Living in Florida with that tie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's uh, definitely Green Party. Yeah. <laughs> That's my take. Ralph Green Party Ralph members are, are big on scamming people and <laughs> storming the stage at random conventions. <laughs> Oddly in the hot sauce, people in the Green Party. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That's uh that's that's everything I found out about Billy Mitchell in the last hour and a half. <clears throat> you know now you know everything that I know. So that's all we need. <laughs> I agree. That's plenty to go on. <laughs> yeah. So these are things things I was thinking about. Dude. So we have our idea for Amazon Pet. I feel like Billy Mitchell could be a great spokesperson for Amazon Pet. I almost <laughs> want to write him a script and I almost want to write him a script, show him the role that he plays in it and see if we can convince him to do a cold read for us um, <laughs> or at least audition for the role of spokesperson because he does have like a Billy Mays type feel to him. Yeah, that could be fun. That could be we fun. Could, we could definitely use uh, that video in a lot of places. We could, yeah. Um, <laughs> Billy Mitchell here for Amazon Pet. And I feel like it would appeal to his ego enough that he might actually do it. And then... Oh, yeah. Completely. He'd be down with whatever scam we're trying to pull. So, <laughs> Yeah, that's my thought. He has very loose morals. He likes to be on top. Likes to... Can you imagine? Oh, what if we got Billy Mitchell to make a plan for us to infiltrate Amazon and get this in there? <laughs> Yeah, if he has any time amongst his other many plans that he's planning, if he could work on one for us too. Yeah. So yeah, that could be interesting. Oh. Billy, Billy Mitchell, we know you always have plans. We are in desperate need of a plan. Like this, this plan of this business plan of ours has money written all over it. Yeah. But we need a plan for his funding, and that's where he comes in. We've heard about your notorious your reputation for plan management and execution. <laughs> yeah that could be very good we can go for his ego about the plan making we want we want him to be the face maybe we just say like we just give him a cut of all the profits we make like no matter what he gets he gets a piece of it this could be his way to to fund his many lawsuits yeah <laughs> that could be a good idea i'm right i'm making notes here so i don't forget yeah that could be very fun um I wonder if there's like a reputation management part of this for Billy Mitchell too. Like if, if him participating in this could somehow you know, take his attention off of his various misdeeds. Yeah, I could see that. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, assume he, he, he must know like how he's perceived after the King of Kong came out. So, <laughs> Well, that was interesting is like I, uh, I was reading interviews with him afterwards and, uh, Apparently, he was surprised that he was cast as the villain in that show. He didn't expect it. He, he thought he was going to be cast as some kind of inspirational American hero story. Um, and then he started getting hate mail. 
<laughs> yeah. So if we reference that, I'd be like, this is your chance. Like, we're going to put you back on top. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be an inspirational business story. The one who dethroned Bezos with your many, many plans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And make a lot of money too. <clears throat> that, could, that could be great. So yeah, I'm into that. Um, yeah. Okay. Bezos being the uh, proverbial Donkey Kong of the business world. He, he kind of is whipping <laughs> barrels at us all day. <laughs> whipping and barrels. Only Billy can help us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just like this is like a real life game of King of Kong, Nathan. That's how yeah. I feel. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Um, okay. Okay. Here's the question: Do we or do we not tip our hand to him at this juncture that we believe him to be business Jesus, or do we hold that <laughs> close to the vest till later? Maybe we uh, layer in some hints so that it pays off later. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna write that down. Layer in hints <laughs> that we know he is Jesus. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> <laughs> truly, truly, you are the King of Kong. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> the real King of Kong was the friends we've made along the way. Exactly. And our Lord and Savior, Billy Mitchell. <laughs> AKA Business Jesus. Exactly. Next time I'm in a situation where I need to give a, a public speech after an accepting an honor or award, I am going to thank my Lord and Savior, Billy Mitchell. <laughs> oh, I, this has to exist. Hang on one second. Hold, please. It doesn't exist, Nathan. <laughs> I was thinking of like making a design of like <laughs> Billy Mitchell on the cross. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of, somebody has to have thought of that. Yeah, I think as long as we throw some lines in there about him like sacrificing himself for our sins or <laughs> that we're going to resurrect his career. <laughs> exactly. You know, Billy, um, you're down right now, but we're going to submit this pitch to Amazon. And the third day after we submit it, your yeah. fame will rise again. <laughs> I'm going to get really intricate with it. Yeah, it's going to be terrific. Yeah, there is no Billy Mitchell Jesus parody. We're the first people to do this. Ah, this is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> How is that possible? No one has the vision that we have. That's a yeah. He's okay. here's another opportunity. Merchandising, like Billy Mitchell is Christ, like merchandise. Oh yeah. He's he views himself in that level. I think he'll go with it. If we like do some mock-ups for him of like a t-shirt, maybe or a backpack, like with Billy Mitchell as Jesus on it, like I think he's gonna go for it. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel like we could. <laughs> We could be sending him all sorts of pitches. Like we can start with Amazon Pet as like, you know, a little aperitif. But uh, I feel like the the Billy Mitchell brand is really gonna shine here. So. Oh, completely. Um, follow up question: Do we believe that Billy Mitchell has access to a blimp? <laughs> if not, he can get us a blimp. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> I think so too. Um, Somewhere in his Rolodex of weirdos and <laughs> assorted <laughs> miscreants, there's someone who can get us a blimp. I think so too. <laughs> his Rolodex of weirdos. <laughs> That's the name of my indie pop band, Rolodex of Weirdos. <laughs> we play those songs that start really slow and play the banjo, then it speeds up over the course of three minutes. <laughs> yeah. At the end, it's just a banjo frenzy. <laughs> That's what Rolodex of Weirdos is all about. <laughs> I do love a good banjo solo. <laughs> Please, David. Banjo frenzy. <laughs> Sorry, frenzy. Yeah. A banjo That's... bonanza is what I call it. <laughs> oh, I like that. Bonanza. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Where were we? <laughs> it's that kind of morning. <laughs> We're playing this one pretty loose, but <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's that's the right uh, headspace to be in to deal with Billy Mitchell. So I think so too. Yeah. So we're pretty sure I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna tie in blimp somehow. 
Blimp. Jesus merchandise. Okay, great. Yeah, that could be like, <laughs> that could be on his page if we need to like have like a fundraiser for his legal his legal funds. Like it could be <laughs> buy a Billy Mitchell on the cross t shirt to support his <laughs> his legal his legal fees. That would yeah. be great. Um, we could get some um, Billy Mitchell uh, Jesus merch like imagery on the side of a blimp and fly it around Florida. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> his, his uh he he he, he sacrificed so much for us <laughs> yeah he sacrificed his video game records for our sins i feel like the floridians are already very fond of like poorly photoshopped like trump imagery as as like you know arnold schwarzenegger or whatever yeah so i think they'd be they'd be primed and ready for some billy mitchell like imagery like that so you know that's a great point like i don't i don't mean to get too political but uh you know the, you make a really good point about certain segments of the population falling for people portraying themselves as business successes who are really you know charlatans and, and weirdos yeah he seems like the logical next step and like the leader of that segment of the population like he's ready to step up he yeah he has just the right amount of air of, of, of mystique and success and wealth and you know kind of weird idiosyncrasies I think he's there. Can we run Billy Mitchell versus Ron DeSantis for governor? <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. I, I, I'm, I, I want to set the stage with Billy Mitchell for president. Like, I think he's going to run the country someday, maybe. Absolutely, he will. Yeah. If 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 Trump taught me anything, it's that an appetite for revenge is enough to get you into the White House, <laughs> regardless yeah. of how confident you are. And Billy Mitchell seems to be right in that line. Like he is ready for revenge. I think uh, we can make a roadmap for him. We, you know, we we start with his legal defense fund with uh, selling Billy Mitchell Jesus shirts. We put Billy Mitchell yeah. Jesus on the side of a blimp, put it all over Florida. We raise his profile as someone who's successful, hell bent on revenge, and our next <laughs> Christ figure, <laughs> new Christ. <laughs> the only problem I see is he's only fifty eight, so mm. like twenty years from now he might be president, but. <laughs> He's clearly yeah. too young to be president right now. So that's true. Well, you know what they say: the journey of to the presidency it takes a thousand steps. That's what they say, right? <laughs> Just they say things like that. Yeah. <laughs> the journey of a thousand miles lead with a single step of uh, starting your own cult. So we got to start somewhere. I, I figure by the time we get a critical mass of cult members, by the time he's you know sixty eight, yeah, he's primed and ready. He'll he'll be set. Um, so yeah, the start of the White House starts with giving us a blimp. So. <laughs> It does. <laughs> you know, I'm going to write that down. Path to the White House starts with giving us a blend. <laughs> you know, we could even make illustrations of all current presidents, give them giving us keys to a blend. <laughs> <laughs> all the, it's like, we see like teenage you and I with being the Bill Clinton and he's handing the keys to a blend to us. Yeah. It's like, it all started here. Yep. <laughs> and ever since then, it's been a time honored tradition. If you want to be president, we're basically king makers. You yeah. got to give us a blimp. <laughs> yeah, that's just the price of admission right there. That's the uh, the metaphorical quarter you're putting in the machine. <laughs> Completely. Like, uh, you remember that old uh, Shirley Jackson the short story, The Lottery, where they like yeah. kill a random person to make sure the harvest grows? Right. Well, if you want to be president, it's kind of the same deal, except instead of like killing a random child, you got to give us a blimp. <laughs> it's yeah. just what it's just what you do <laughs> yeah it's the cost of doing business and business jesus billy mitchell will understand that he will yeah yeah so uh, that's our roadmap we're gonna fundraise with him as the likeness of jesus um to fund his many lawsuits oh look like i did a little thumbs up thing that's weird <laughs> okay go that's away it for you yeah. all right so that's happening okay, me... okay it's gone now okay great we start with business Jesus starting a cult. We then give it enough critical. But through that, we could probably fund our pet subscription service ourselves. Maybe this That's is how we get our seed capital. Maybe we cut Bezos out of it entirely. Maybe we just say, like, we pitched this to Bezos. He passed. Bezos is a fool. You are not a fool, Billy Mitchell. We yeah. think that we have, we have something here. Um, 
if we just imply we're in discussions with Amazon, but we'd like to take it to Billy Mitchell instead. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, we're not in the Bezos business. We want to be in the Billy Mitchell business. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And then we show him the path that uh, all these activities eventually lead him to um, ruling Florida with an iron fist and eventually America. <clears throat> He's already got the tie for it. He does. He does. <laughs> yeah I, really like if i if i get a blimp i'll be happy but if i'm able to get a uh um if i'm able to get a, a clean read from him pitching him pitching our pet subscription service i would die a happy man and i'm Absolutely. pretty sure i'm pretty sure we can get it. we're gonna have to be very precise with this we're gonna have to make it fun and interesting enough but also not a, so offensive to him that he says no i think he's gonna want yeah. the notoriety for this we're gonna give him some juice here it's gonna be great um yeah, this is going to be good. How are you feeling about this plan, Nathan? This plan for the plan? This is a very solid plan. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to do in the next week. I'm going to write a script for uh, a, a pitch for, for Billy Mitch that I want him to read. We can look at it together next week. And then I'm also going to make some merchandise. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to make some t-shirts, some buttons. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need to make up some, some sample uh, merchandise for... <laughs> For Billy to peruse. So. Oh, definitely. He's going to need that. Um, he's going to need a uh, a visual history of uh, <laughs> our, our our many blimps we've acquired from <laughs> current and former presidents. Absolutely. <laughs> here's Barack Obama giving Nathan and I a blimp. <laughs> here's here's George W. Bush giving Nathan and Landon a blimp. <laughs> yeah, we call that one Blimpo Four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah people people didn't think george w had a tech chance a shot at a second term until he gave nathan and landed a blimp and then it was all but in the bag yeah that mission accomplished banner that was talking that was referring to giving us a blimp <laughs> exactly. Exactly. i did it he threw a little, that little party for himself <laughs> <laughs> you look at that you pull that picture up and you just zoom into the background and you can see nathan and i just Piloting piloting off. <laughs> piloting away. We're both wearing top hats. <laughs> and that blimp tragically crashed in the ocean shortly after that. But that yeah. those 20 minutes were really special. We don't want to get into what happened to the blimp. But... <laughs> we got a little carried away with the cigar smoking and kind of yeah. just went up in flames. Suffice to say. We're in need of a new blip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And W didn't care. He got the presidency. He was yeah. fine. He's, he specifically said to us, I don't care what happens to this blimp. <laughs> I don't care if I ever see this blimp again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good Lord. Well, <laughs> this has been a nice freewheeling episode. <laughs> I hope all you out there on YouTube appreciate this <laughs> to the same extent that you appreciate any of what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. We're, I just talk, we talk nonsense and forget about what I was doing in the first place. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, Nathan, I've had a really great time brainstorming business ideas with you here today. Um, I look forward to getting back next week and sharing blasphemous and offensive imagery with you on our <laughs> quest, our never ending quest to obtain a blimp. Yeah, we need to move fast on it because someone else is going to come up with the idea of Billy Mitchell as Jesus. So we need to be first to market. <laughs> now that I'm aware that we're the first, I just feel like this imminent clock ticking in my head. I got to take care of this fast. So, yeah. okay. Well, I'm going to get working on it right away. Um, but uh, yeah, again, thank you, Nathan. This is more, this is this sets a really positive tone for my entire day. And uh, I can't wait to pitch Billy Mitchell. And uh, thank you, America, all 12 of you, you know, for tuning into this. Yeah. It fills up my senses like a walk in the forest. <laughs> uh, all right. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> See you, everybody.